I am so excited, so happy to be back again here today with another three biggies unboxing. Hey. <laughs> Hi my beautiful girlies, it's Lindy here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited, so happy to be back again here today with another three biggies unboxings. Uh, yes. You know, I went so crazy with the 21S collection and I told you I am not finished with the unboxings. These are even bags that I don't have in my collection yet, so these will be the very first ones. And these are not even pink colors, so you will be so surprised to see. And the price increase is coming one of the next days and I feel like these are especially good investment bags. You will see these on the resale market for so much higher price and they will keep coming back in the collections next, but not in these finishes. I really hate myself for keeping you waiting for so, so long. I know you want to see them faster, but you may all know I do run two full-time businesses and also it would be quite impossible to unbox all my 21S unboxings in like one video because whenever you can buy Chanel first, you know, they never arrive at the same time. Some of you can probably already guess because they have been revealed in my shopping vlog some time ago. So girlies, also there will be giveaway winners announcement in the very end of this video. So stay tuned till the end. Also, there will be another giveaway in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching. So girlies, let me know if you can guess what this is. To be honest, I've already unboxed all of these baggies here and I've packed them back as simple as possible so we can save time while unboxing. Also, if you're new here to my channel and if you love luxury, you will love it here on my channel and I would love to have you. I am especially a crazy, crazy Chanel fan and I love everything Chanel. So if you love Chanel and especially the color pink, I think you will love it here on my channel. And I would appreciate it if you will hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification. Yes, so let's go straight into this baby here. So as I said, I already unboxed them and packed them back, so I will do it as simple as possible. So yes, the way I'm holding it is kind of revealing, right? So every single Chanel box comes with the booklet, the dust cloth, and yes, I won't go too much into detail. So let me know if you can guess what this is. As so the classic dust bag. So, are you ready for this one, girlies? Make a guess. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love to read your guesses. So obsessed with this new color for me lately. So, one, two, three, ta da! Yeah, you see the little handle right there. Yay! <laughs> so, did you guess? I am quite sure. Oh, she is so stunning, right? I love these beautiful snow white handbags and ah, the very first one in my collection. Gosh, and she is so stunning. So this is the 21S white caviar with brushed gold or vintage gold ah, mini with the top handle. So this is everything <laughs> so ah oh, i love it so so much and uh, seriously i pre-ordered another color like more than a half year before the collection launched but when i saw the white color i just couldn't skip it and it looked so perfect with my pearl love back charms on i just really couldn't skip this one when my essay saved it for me i'll input some pictures or clips of me wearing it in the boutique Oh, I was like, gosh, why, why, why? This collection is like killing me. I only plan to buy all of my favorite pink handbags, but then I got more and more. But seriously, this one is such a good investment piece. It holds all the Chanel classic features. So you can see the CC turn lock, the classic flap, diamond quilting, and even the Mona Lisa back pocket here. So with the new top handle, it's just extra. She is just perfection and I'm so happy that I got such a perfect one as I've seen like some that is quite out of balance like 
this flap right here. Isn't she so perfect? You see, I've been really into white lately. My very first white bag was my 19th flap bag that I got last year from the 21C collection. And my Snow White that I just unboxed from the 21A. And here you can see them side by side. Many of you asked me if I know if this 21A classic flap caviar leather is lighter, darker, more milky or more off-white than the 21S classic flap. To be honest, I didn't see them side by side. So it is hard to say, but I definitely know that the 21A caviar leather is much tougher than the 21S for the classic flaps. So that is what I noticed since I purchased quite a few of 21P and 21S and now 21A classic flaps. So yes, this is them side by side and I would like to show you how the leather looks up close so you can see it is a quite more milkier than the 21a classic flap and you can see the size comparison here let me know if you would like like an in-depth comparison review of these mini top handles with any of my chanel bags you can tell me and i can do that for you so let me get my pearls over on this handbag because this was something that really got me so in the boutique, I tried my giant pearls, and not this one, but the giant size on. And gosh, it looks so, so freaking cute. Like you can see, it just instantly glums up the bag and it just looks amazing together. You see, matchy matchy with my bracelet right here. So it just makes her so much prettier and girlier. So let me show you how this bag looks on me. So, for your reference, as I always tell you, I am 170 centimeters tall. And this is where this bag hits on me, which is like the perfect length. I really love this length. So, this is how it will look on this side. So, my Princess Tulis skirts, they are released by the time you're watching this video. Giveaway will be coming in this video as for every single time I release a brand new item to share the love with you and to thank you all so much for your support. So, this is how it looks like on me, crossbody. And if I'm going to wear it like on one side, then it will hit quite low and it will like be below my hips. And let me try to double up the chain inside to see if it works. I didn't try it by the way, so this will be my very first time trying this. And it looks like Mm, it can <laughs> so it will look perfect like this it's actually a quite good length yay I love it this way as well and in my hands not really into the crook of my arms but I can carry it like this and it just makes it a little bit more feminine so girlies I don't recommend you to do that too much because this piece of the handle is quite delicate. If you carry quite a lot and you keep holding the handle and even stick your hand in and out of the handbag so many times, then this piece will become stretched and I'm not sure how the leather is going to look. But we will see by time it feels like it is quite sturdy. This is so stunning with the aged gold hardware. I still have the stickers on. I didn't touch the bag since like I unboxed them to check them and pack them back. You see, I've already uploaded two unboxing videos and two shopping vlogs for the 21S collection and more is coming. <laughs> so yes, it feels like uh, yes, I bought the entire collection, right? And I also got something for you from this collection. Whenever there's something I like so, so much from a collection, I like to buy something for you as well. So this is the interior of the bag, girlies. I I think it is quite the same as the mini rectangular, the classic one. So this one is made in Italy. It is a fully leather lined, so I really love that. And even the zipper comes with all the stickers intact. You can see on the hardware, all the stickers are there. And it comes with the zip compartment in the back with the authenticity card. So this is still the 21S collection, so the 31 series. and. The hologram sticker is also inside of the bag. So all the newer bags from the 21A collection that I also showed you, my classic flap here, it comes with the chip instead of the hologram sticker and also the authenticity card. 
So I am really happy that I got this one in my collection and I can't wait to use it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I had this forever and still didn't start to use it. And now let me share with you the price for this bag. I don't want to go into too many details just because, you know, we have so much to unbox, right? So I am very happy that my essay called me for this bag and you saw I went to try it. I will input the clip so you can see. This bag was 35,300 MOP and this bag is also one of the bags that is going to go up in price. So yes, I'm quite happy that I got this because Chanel is not going to come back with these in caviar leather. So you can see those from the 21A collection, they are all in lambskin. So yes, if you really want a leather mini with the top handle, you need to buy it now from resellers. Otherwise the price is just going quite high. You know, I've experienced it several times myself and sometimes I really regret myself. I want to hit myself for not buying it at the time I was offered because sometimes even though I have essays in different boutiques, it just is quite impossible to come by again. That is how it works with Chanel. And now I'm just unboxing the second one, which is a bag that I got from my mommy. So I thought it would be okay to unbox it here with you as well. I thought this is such a perfect bag and to be honest, I feel like I really want to buy my parents something for the day we can finally reunite again and I know my mommy, she will love this one so much. So, my loves, I don't want to keep chasing you, so this is like, seriously, you're going to scream another unicorn that is was so hard to score and I thought I couldn't skip on this one because it is so classic. Ta -da! So oh you can see her the belt. Yes, another top handle mini. So I got the most classic colors and I can't believe it. It's a caviar leather which I'm so happy for. So I didn't get this in Macau but in mainland China which is much higher priced. But seriously this is so much more expensive if I'm going to purchase it later on and you know black is not really my color I do have some black handbags in my collection Chanel bags but I do never buy black anymore because it is just not the color that makes my heart flutter so I really thought when my essay showed me this look how beautiful and shiny it is like the caviar is so pretty and Oh, it is almost looking like it is a shiny iridescent and this is such a classic piece like black with gold hardware and even this aged gold hardware looks so amazing on this caviar and it is just looking so perfect like I said I've seen on Instagram so many uneven flaps and some where the quiltings didn't look like in line and I just feel like when you get offered a bag this beautiful you really I couldn't skip it. This is just the perfect bag for my mommy and I hope that she will love it. So she watches my unboxing videos and, and she may wonder why do I buy a black handbag but I still wanted to keep it as a surprise till the day she comes so she can unbox it herself and use it and this is caviar so not delicate at all as you will enjoy it. So you can see black even goes really nice to my current outfit. So I won't crossbody and try it on just because I don't want to like spend too much time. <laughs> just want to show you how perfect it is. Can you see how balanced the flap is, how beautiful the handle is and just the foams on the back. Look how shiny the leather is. Oh. So this one is, let me check. This one is made in France. So that is really, hmm, I don't know why but most of my handbags that I get from Hong Kong and Macau, they are actually made in Italy. Whereas most of my handbags that I get from the mainland, they are mostly made in France. But I also think it depends on which style because really all the small classic flaps that I got, they are made in France no matter where I got them. So I am so happy. I feel so blessed that I was able to score this for my mommy. I actually did ask her before I purchased it if she likes this bag and what she thinks about it. 
she just told me seriously you don't have many black handbags in your collection and when you get older <laughs> then you won't like pink as much as you will like black seriously i don't think that will ever happen so my mommy sometimes do enjoy to use some of my handbags as you remember like 10 years ago when i first started my channel i did unbox some handbags that i purchased for my mommy as well so yes as she said she can borrow it so when she said that i was just thinking she likes it i will buy it for her and i will give it to her when she finally when we finally can reunite again it has almost been two years now and i miss my parents so so much i can't describe so yes but Let's keep it happy and positive. Things will get better, right? <laughs> oh, my daddy, he was just... My husband was playing with the doggies in the garden and kept saying, Daddy is coming back soon. And my father is saying that my husband is cheating them all the time. Even my doggies, they miss my parents so, so much. And I really feel like the day will come soon and we can finally be together as a family. Yes, anyway, I can't wait to give this to my mommy. Yes, let me show you how this baggie looks. I wanted to show you with my giant pearls, but it is somewhere I can't find it right now. So let me show you with my Camellia Love by Cham Chains in the black color, which I think will look really nice. I didn't try it on yet, but it looks really nice, especially the black and gold. It just matches so well together. So let me also show you the jumbo that I have. And you can see the caviar leather is so different. Can you see the newer caviar? Oh, maybe just only on this newer handbag. It is so much smaller grains. so. It is super shiny, like it is almost iridescent, can you see that? But the older handbags, it is so much thicker and you cannot see that this bag is like 10 years old. I got this jumbo bag when I was in Germany and it was from 2011, so it makes it almost 10 years old. I didn't touch it for at least 5 years, so yes, I didn't really use it that much, but it is one of my darling bags that will stay with me forever in my collection no matter what this is one of the bags that i got for myself when i just started my business and was traveling around to visit clients all around the world i this just makes me think of so many positive like vibes i feel like i was so brave when I was at that young, it really holds so much sentimental value. So girlies, at this one, let me tell you the price. As I told you, this one is more expensive because I got it in the mainland. And it was 31,500 Chinese yuan. So yeah, that is like 800 to 900 US dollars more to get in the mainland over than in Macau and Hong Kong. But to be honest, I don't really mind. Even in the mainland, it is really hard to get these unicorns. And to be honest, if I don't get them wherever I can get them first, then I'll end up spending so much more on them. By the way, did I mention that this bag is also going up in price? So you see, I've kept them in their boxes for two to three months and they've already, they're already going up in price. So Chanel bags, really good investments, right? Ta-da, girlies, black and white, so pretty. <laughs> I love how classy these are. So beautiful and I'm so happy that I got them in caviar as I would not like to have these in lambskin. Of course, a lambskin is so beautiful as well. But if you have a choice, I always recommend caviar over the lambskin. And here you can see the white one is much more like a matte finish over the black one is so shiny and to be honest i kind of like it myself as well it's just so classy it screams chanel even though it's a new bag it just looks so iconic right yes i love it so so much so let me get the bags back into the place and let's talk about the giveaway so girlies before we go into the very last baggie that I got here, 
let's talk about the giveaway that you can enter right now and then I'll announce the other three giveaway prizes winners here in the end of the video. So we are keep going on with the giveaways here on my channel. So are you ready? Ta -da! So these are my brand new princess tulip skirts. I've been wearing them so so much in so many of my videos for since the beginning of the year or even some of them last year. But I corrected it so many times to perfection. Can you see how poofy they are? It is made of eight layers of the most beautiful, luxurious tulle, and you can see there is my Yes, <laughs> it is made in house, girlies, just as my back charms. Every single, each and every single skirt is fully handmade and made to order. It is tailor made to fit your body perfectly. They are just so princessy, so girly, and you will see when you receive them, they just feel so luxurious. So as promised, each and every single time, I do release a brand new item. And this one is so special because it is not a back charm, but a clothing piece. Yes, it is definitely something that I would love for you to try. So I am giving away three of these beautiful princess to the skirts. And you need to feel and really see them in person to feel how luxurious they are. They are made of eight layers of the prettiest, most fluffy, and so airy tulle that is so comfortable to wear even during summertime. I've been wearing them so much and it's really humid here. I'll input some pictures and clips of me wearing them and you can see they just fly up beautifully. And I really made these because I think each and every single girl deserves to feel and look like a princess and you definitely will feel and look like a princess wearing my beautiful skirts so I can't wait for you to get yours so many of them are in the making we are cutting out the pieces and sewing them and yes I can't wait to see them on you so remember to send me the pictures and tag me so for the giveaway as usual very simple three lucky winners and I will put all the information for the giveaway rules so let me just kindly remind you the very simple rules so first you will have to be a subscriber of mine and I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram as well and you'll have extra chances to win over there so you'll see this photo of this thumbnail and you can enter under that just by copying the message that you comment that you entered here copy that and enter it under the Instagram post as well second I like this video third and tell me which princess to live skirt that you can see on my side which color do you love the most I will input also the pictures right here so you will get a reminder of the colors tell me which one you love the most so we can make that for you and also tell me which country you are from and your Instagram or email so I can contact you if you are one of the lucky winners. So that is simple, right? And so that is it for the giveaway. So girlies, I would love for you to go to enter for my brand new Princess Tulu skirts. So you have seen me wear them so much and I'm so happy that I can finally share with you. Don't forget that you can always check the links for everything that I'm wearing in my videos. You tend to ask me quite a lot, but they are always in the description box. So girlies, to be honest, this is one of the bags that I kind of regret, but this is the one that I ordered. So let me just quickly unbox everything. So there's the tag and everything for this beautiful baggie. So this one I ordered more than half a year ago and I didn't even tag it back into the dust bag so I can reveal it faster to you. So ta-da! <laughs> she is stunning but not really my pink. So yes, you can see my heart doesn't really scream for it. It is beautiful and I'm just like, hmm. This is the iridescent pink color from the 21S collection as well. And you might be shocked why I don't like her because I even prefer the white and even the black over than this iridescent pink. This is lambskin, so not the caviar version. And I don't want to fuss too much around with it as it's simply like the same as the other two that I just unboxed. But this is in the iridescent pink lambskin. So let me show you. 
side by side to the iridescent pink, the light pink, so NC022 that my heart screams for, beside this purplish pink. I don't even want to call it pink. It looks more like a purple to me. So don't you agree with me that this is like a much darker tone of pink than this? So what do you think girlies? Which one do you like more? I do see that this still goes with my outfits and so and I definitely think that this is pretty if I don't look at the white one and the black one and also don't compare it to all of my other pinks but to be quite honest I got so many handbags in this pink color and I have some that I didn't unbox yet I feel so bad <laughs> so also because of that reason I feel like I must have to let this one go and to be honest I'm just going to let it go for the price that I paid for it I even uploaded a picture to my Instagram story and asked you if I should take it or not and so many of you just voted for me to just buy it first I get it, it's totally for home and I feel so bad in not buying what I ordered I'm the kind of person that never exchange or return things. We don't have the opportunity to do that here like in the United States or in Europe where it's much more easy and normal to return things. It is so hard to get the items like you really have to be very lucky, have a really good relationship with your essays to get offered these beautiful bags. So no way you are not going to exchange or refund any of these and they won't be happy for that and to be honest I don't even feel like I am a big customer especially not in the mainland even though I buy so much it is so different in Asia especially in China because the customers buy so so crazy much I don't know how to describe because to be honest I've seen people buy the entire range of ready to wear like standing just beside me and I I take so much time to just decide to buy a few handbags and I know a few handbags is still a lot with you know I buy a lot of custom jewelry and sometimes ready to wear but compared to those customers I really feel like so stressed when I'm there in the boutique oh, so girlies yes if any one of you were looking for this one and didn't get it let me know but to be quite honest, I won't just sell to anyone, do you get what I mean? I prefer it to go to someone that really lost the bag and couldn't get hands on it. So I did get this for mainland prices, so it is on the higher side. And to be honest, when I don't go to the boutique by myself, I do have extra fees on top. And as I said, I don't mind that because fear of missing out. Contact me by DM. Don't email me because my assistants, they don't know what you're talking about and they do reply my emails. So yes, let me know if you're interested. Girlies, giveaway winners time. So as promised, so girlies, three lucky winners for my newest princess heart here in the lilac baby pink version i have it here on my phone as i don't remember so yes girlies let me announce the three lucky winners for my newest bag charms and you can choose any one of them i will contact you by dm on instagram so check them out yes here is the one with the pom-pom you can also choose the one without the pom-pom that is there on the chanel bag also you can choose the pom-pom without the bling bling heart so let me announce the three lucky winners Winning number one is Karen Chenty, so congratulations to you, girlie. Second winner is a Queen of Diamonds 3. And the third winner is Sun, Sun Alubia. <laughs> so yes, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I did pronounce them all correctly. I will leave all the texts and sweet sweet congratulations to you girlies i will contact you over on direct message on instagram if you left that if you left your email i will contact you by email so you can think about it if you would like the one with pom-pom without or even the pom-pom alone so this is my newest lilac baby pink and princess sparkly heart i love her so so much and it goes with all of my you know 21s lilac baby pink handbags that i got so many of so this is her <laughs> yes girlies also don't forget to enter my new giveaway here for my princess tula skirts i would love for you to enter so 
go enter here and over on my Instagram as well. Please do remember to follow me over on Instagram as well. I do upload so much more frequently over there. So you will see more of my outfits of the days, my bag of the days, and also sometimes some dancing. So yes, I would love to have you over on my Instagram as well. So I guess that is it for this video, girlies. And let me know which bag here is your favorite and gosh I can't wait I'm planning to use this white beauty tomorrow so I will share with you on my Instagram so let me know if you went so crazy with the 21s collection which pieces did you get and is there anything you're going to buy before the Chanel price increase let's talk about it down in the comment section I would love to hear from you so thank you so much for watching this video girlies so yes until next time stay beautiful happy and blessed and I will see you again really soon bye girlies my very most used Chanel shoes yes my Chanel Espritoles and these not even in pink color these are my most most worn number one really they are so comfortable